Okay, I know this is weird, but did you know that dumpster diving is legal in all 50 states? It's true. Although some counties and cities may have specific ordinances against it, there is no state in the United States where dumpster diving is illegal statewide. Now, although I have not personally been dumpster diving yet, I am absolutely fascinated by this idea. I recently stumbled across a few Facebook groups where dumpster divers post their finds, and I have been absolutely astonished at what they have pulled out of the garbage bins. I've seen people recover full sets of patio furniture, new fans and air conditioners still in their boxes, high-end cosmetics, toys for their kids, and even pristine still packaged food. In one case, I saw a post from an experienced diver who recovered over $3,000 worth of pet food from the dumpster of his local pet store. This urban foraging is incredible to me, and it highlights a really big problem that America has with waste. Statistically, 40% of all food in America is wasted, but at the same time, there are millions of people who go hungry. And it's not just food either. Over a billion dollars in usable products get thrown away every year. Businesses regularly throw away items that are overstocked, out of season, returned by customers, or have damaged packaging. These items may still be perfectly fine and usable, but the businesses choose to throw them away rather than donate them to local food banks and other resources. Now, there are many reasons they choose to do that, but one of the reasons is that they're worried that if they donate, it will cut down on demand and therefore cut into their profits. It's generally more affordable for businesses to throw things away than to store them or return them to manufacturers if there's an issue. So into the dumpsters, that goes. And it's disgusting and wasteful and really hard for me to understand. Now, other countries are taking action on this. For example, according to an NPR interview that I saw, France throws away like $900 million a year in usable products. So the country is moving forward with plans to ban the destruction of usable goods. But America hasn't done that. So many people have chosen to dumpster dive and retrieve those items on their own. After all, it helps their community and it helps their environment to recover those discarded items before they go into the landfills. And fortunately, it's usually not illegal to do this. I spoke to Riley Beam, the managing attorney at Douglas R. Bean, and Riley said, everything from discarded products to documents, once they make their way into a dumpster, is a freebie anyone can pick up and use. But that's according to federal and state law. Things get trickier when you begin to consider more specific city and county laws with some bodies redefining the rules to protect their people. Another set of enforceable rules is when a business specifies directions that apply to its dumpsters or when the treasure hunt involves trespassing on the business's property. A locked dumpster, signs that discourage dumpster diving, and recycle bins are all warning signs to steer clear. You can't dumpster dive on private property, and you cannot legally pick locks or ignore no trespassing signs. It's important not to make a mess and not to be disruptive. You also usually can't touch the recycling bins either, and it's important to look over your local ordinances before you go. That being said, there are a lot of people out there who are making really good money from their dumpster diving finds. Years ago, I made a living selling items that I found at thrift stores and garage sales. So it's absolutely possible to find something and sell it for a profit. And it's especially profitable if you aren't paying anything to acquire the things you're selling. So if you're thinking about trying dumpster diving, here are a few tips that can help you get started. First, think about what you want to find. You're going to get a very different haul from a pet store dumpster than a beauty supply company, right? So just Think about what it is that you want to come home with before you leave. Second, avoid stores that destroy their products. There are some businesses that will throw paint all over their garbage or burn the products or smash them. Anything they can do to destroy them and make sure that nobody can use them. I personally think that's despicable, but that's the way that it is. Some dumpster divers have said that Kohl's, Michael's, and Best Buy locations often do this. Third, don't bother with thrift stores or other secondhand retailers. They only throw away the most useless and broken things that they get because their entire business model relies on selling anything of value. So you won't find anything worthwhile in their dumpsters. Similarly, you should never dumpster dive from medical centers, hospitals, or restaurants because there may be hazardous material or pests or other things in there that are just not worth the risk. Fourth, never make a mess. If you decide to try this, you should leave no trace that you were there. Clean up the area, close the lid, and if anything, leave the site better than you found it. Attorney Alan M. Siegel told me, Strictly speaking, dumpster diving is not illegal. However, its associated actions can be. That's why it's important to consider your environment. 
If you make a mess in the course of your activities, this could make up illegal littering, as well as being distressing and potentially hazardous to passerby and leaving you liable for the consequences. Be conscious of the impact your actions could have on others and remain respectful at all times. Fifth, never go alone. Having multiple people with you can help you stay safe. They can help you retrieve heavy items, load your vehicle, and watch for hazards. Of course, this may mean that you have to share your loot with your friends, but your safety is worth the sacrifice. If you're seriously considering this, be sure to check out the rest of our tips at lowincomerelief.com, and don't forget to check out our other videos for more ways that you can save money and get free stuff.